I'm Alex from the Angular team, and I'm here to share some big news about the component authoring experience in Angular. We want to make writing components in Angular an enjoyable and productive experience, and we've been hard at work trying to find the next step in achieving that goal, and we think we found it. We're giving you new ways to write some of the logic in your template. I'm thrilled to introduce the new control flow syntax in Angular. This new syntax gives you new options for how you write if statements, for loops, and switch statements. We think this new syntax makes reading logic in templates easier, as well as writing it. And we didn't stop there. We've also included many highly requested features, such as else if. And we're improving the performance of key parts of control flow. So what will this new syntax look like? I thought you'd never ask. First, let's check out the new if syntax. The template keywords for control flow start with an at symbol that tells Angular this is a control flow statement. Next comes the keyword if. This looks a lot like a JavaScript if statement, which should be more familiar to developers. Next comes the condition in parentheses, followed by opening and closing braces, which make it easier to group multiple elements together without the need for ng container. Compared to the ng if based syntax, we find the new syntax is clearer more robust and easier to reason about. But can we do better? Yes, there's also support for else without the need for ng templates and variables. But why stop there? We're also introducing support for else if syntax. Now you can specify multiple conditional statements to fit your component's rendering needs. We've also included new for loop syntax. Check this out. The at for looks very similar to a TypeScript for loop. We're maintaining similar syntax for your iterables, but we're adding an important performance change. Track is now required. This will help your loops be faster and more efficient. To make this easier, track now lets you specify an expression directly. No more track by functions. You can also specify a fallback when there are no items in the list with the new at empty syntax. No need for fancy template magic, just clean, readable code. We've optimized the implementation considerably. At four is up to 90% faster when processing certain list updates. I bet some of you were wondering if we did anything to improve situations using switch. And the answer is yes. You can use the new at switch syntax to write clear, robust switch statements directly in your templates. With similar syntax as if and for, you specify the expression then use the at case syntax to specify the clauses. And just like switch statements in JavaScript, you can use the at default keyword for your default case. You can try these new features in developer preview in Angular v17. We can't wait for you to use them and let us know what you think. So be sure to ng-update once v17 is released. Until the next time, happy coding.